I'm Paul Perkins with the check of your ag weather. After highs this afternoon in the 50s, a cold front tracks to the southeast tonight. Highs drop into the mid-30s to the low 40s for tomorrow and Friday. From Grand Island and Hastings to eastern Nebraska and north central Kansas, there are slight chances of light snow or rain for tomorrow night through Friday, then again Saturday through Saturday night with some passing disturbances. Highs rebound into seasonal levels into the 40s for the weekend when a warm front lifts to the north. A building ridge of high pressure continues the warming trend for Monday and Tuesday with highs in the mid to upper 40s in Nebraska, low to mid 50s over northern Kansas. Widespread highs in the 50s expected for the middle of next week when that ridge of high pressure moves onto the plains. The warming trend lasts through the long term. It's very likely that Nebraska and Kansas stay warmer than normal Monday through December 12th. Mostly below normal precipitation is indicated for Monday through December 12th for both Nebraska and Kansas. Key weather factors driving the markets include milder temperatures with some precipitation from a couple of storms in the U.S., good rains expected for Argentina, and increasing wet season rain in central Brazil. Much of the U.S. is quiet before more active weather. The transition begins today with some light precipitation developing from California all the way to the western Gulf Coast. Rain and snow continue in the four corners the rest of the week, while locally heavy rain and thunderstorms erupt across the south tomorrow and last into the weekend. Five-day rainfall could reach two to four inches or more from eastern Texas to the southern Atlantic states, the exception across the Florida Peninsula. Rainfall should top an inch as far north as the southern and eastern Corn Belt. With harvest mostly wrapped up, the moisture across the plains and Midwest helping to boost the soil moisture for winter wheat, especially in eastern areas. In Argentina, scattered rain continues through Friday, bringing good rainfall to much of the country's key growing areas. Additional rain may continue in some of Argentina over the weekend and next week as conditions continue to be mostly favorable for corn and soybean planting and development. Towards central Brazil, light rain increases in coverage and intensity this weekend, a benefit for soybean development. Southern Brazil, though, has too much rain for developing corn and soybeans, especially in Piranha. Rains are letting up in Rio Grande do Sul, and rainfall is likely to be more limited the next couple of days. Any breaks from the rain are needed in southern Brazil to decrease the excessive soil moisture, but there could be areas of heavier rain for this weekend. I'm Paul Perkins. That's a check of your ag weather.